1905, just as Mr. Hans Wilsdorf was founding his watchmaking company in London, Swiss manufacturer Rotary were opening their English offices. Less than two decades later, Mr. Wilsdorf was moving his small company to Switzerland, citing economical difficulties due at least partly to Rotary's success. The name of that small company? Rolex. Twenty-something years later, while Rolex was busy selling their watches to prisoners of war in Nazi camps, Rotary became the official supplier of the British Army. Today, Rotary is the best-known watch manufacturer in UK, focused on supplying the under $500 market with both mechanical and quartz watches. A comparison with Timex is quite appropriate, as they too have a vast archive they're quite busy revisiting. This is the Rotary Henley Chronograph, part of the Henley line, which is the best known of their 12 collections, this 42mm chronograph is offered in two dial colors, black and blue, and three case variants, and is one of the very few chronographs that feature a slide rule internal bezel operated by a dedicated crown at 10. This particularity, the two subdial layout, the square date window at 6, and the color scheme make this piece look like the love child of a Zin 903 and a Navitimer Chronomatic. Regarding the price, it definitely pays to shop around, as the MSRP is close to $300, but I managed to find it at around $180 during last Christmas sale. On wrist, the Henley Chrono wears true to its 42mm size, helped by a modest 48mm lock-to-lock distance. But while it looks like a million bucks seen from afar, a closer look reveals the watch is more akin to its price tag, unfortunately. Printing is ok, so are the applied markers, but I would have liked a bit of texture on the subdials. There's also a big amount of glare coming from the flat sapphire crystal, despite claims of AR coating being applied, and I'm not at all impressed with the chrono hand trying to set a record for most markers missed. The biggest disappointment, though, comes from the case. Slab-sided and highly polished, it looks quite cheap, and the lack of weight really makes this feel like it's made of tin. The worst part is the really thin lugs. At least the Milanese bracelet is adequate, no better than a reasonable $10 AliExpress similar band, but the sign clasp adds some individuality to it. The 5 bar rated push crown is adequate and the crown or pushers are hit or miss. The internal bezel action is a mixed bag as there is quite a lot of play, but at least the crown action is not overly sensitive. This is the type of watch it's quite easy to fall in love with, and it takes quite a lot of love to turn a blind eye to its flaws. I would only recommend the Rotary Henley Chrono at under $180 and only because it's somewhat unique and quite easy to sell forward if you want, which I did. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.